Hello, boys and girls. Today we'll be talking about adding and subtracting one step word problems. One step just means you will go ahead and do an operation just one time to solve the problem. Let's get started. To solve all our problems in math with any operation, we are going to use our problem solving model. This is an example of how you would go ahead and make your four square chart. Let's go ahead and practice and do some examples. Why is adding and subtracting word problems so important in math? Let's go ahead and look at a scenario. Mrs. Munir made 238 cupcakes on Monday and 143 cupcakes on Tuesday. How many cupcakes did Mrs. Munir make in all? Remember to look out for key words. So if she made 238 cupcakes on Monday, 143 cupcakes on Tuesday, how many cupcakes did she make in all? What do you think we're going to do? Add or subtract? So here is my problem solving model. So anytime you have a word problem, this is a word problem, you are going to draw your four square model. The first one you will write answer stem. The second one you're going to write important information. The third one is a picture model. And you will go ahead and write the equation and solve out your problem. Let's go ahead and look at the answer stem. So my answer stem is over here. So I basically rewrite this in the answer form. So the question is, how many cupcakes did Mrs. Munir make in all? I rewrote it like this. Mrs. Munir has blank cupcakes in all. I do not know how much, but these steps will help me figure that out. All right, what do I know? I know that Monday she had 238 cupcakes. Tuesday she had 143 cupcakes. How many in all? So how many in all? How can we show a picture model? This is a great way to show a picture model of what how many in all looks like. So we have the part plus part equals whole. So we need to find the whole number. We have 238 plus 143. So this right here would tell us what 238 plus 143 equals. This is the total amount. Let's go ahead and write the equation and solve our work. So we have 238 plus 143. 8 plus 3 is 11. We put the 1 here and we carry the other one. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 is 8, 2 plus 1 is 3. So our answer is 381. Now we're going to go ahead and put our answer back into our answer stem. So our answer stem will say, Mrs. Muneer has 381 cupcakes in all. Let's try another one. 
Let's go ahead and look at a different scenario. Mrs. Muneer had 345 cupcakes in her store. She sold 167 cupcakes. How many cupcakes does Mrs. Munir have left? So she had 345. She sold. When you sell something, are you adding it or are you taking it away? So if she sold 167 cupcakes, how much does she have left? So what do you think we are going to do? Add or subtract? Let's go ahead and use our problem solving model to solve the problem. First step is make your four squares. So one, and we're just gonna draw a line like this. We're going to go ahead and write answer stem, important information, picture, equation, and solve work. So the first thing is the answer stem. Read the question. How many cupcakes does Mrs. Munir have left? Mrs. Munir has blank cupcakes left. So that is our answer stem. Now let's go ahead and look at what we know. So we know that she had 345 cupcakes in store. She sold 167 cupcakes and we need to figure out how many are left. How many are left? What would our picture diagram look like this time? This is what it looks like. We have the whole. We took away 167 and now we need the other part. So in this case, we are not adding because we already have the total. We are subtracting. Let's go ahead and write our equation. 345 take away 167. Can we solve this? 5 take away 7? We cannot. The 7 is bigger and the 5 is smaller. So we need to borrow from our neighbor. We're gonna go ahead and borrow one from our neighbor and make that a three. We bring one over here. So now this five becomes a 15. And this number is bigger, this number is smaller, so we are ready to subtract. 15 take away seven is eight. Three take away six. Can we do that? We cannot. So we need to borrow from our neighbor three. And we're gonna go ahead and make that a two. We're gonna bring one over and make the four a 13. Now this number is bigger and this number is smaller. So we are ready to subtract 13 take away six is seven and lastly two take away one is one here are some math journal activities and now we are ready to put our answer in our first sentence stem so our 178 cupcakes will go all the way here. So our answer is Mrs. Munir has 178 cupcakes left. Here are some math journal activities you can do to practice more on adding and subtracting word problems.
this activity, you can go ahead and use a table, reading the table and finding out keyword for subtraction. This again will be subtracting word problems. I want you to read the question carefully and use the problem solving model to go ahead and solve them. And lastly, this is a mix of both adding and subtracting word problems. Again, please go ahead and use our problem solving model, the four square, to solve each one. And that is all for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.